In this video, you're going to learn how to draw and paint those perfect shirts, regular shirts, common shirts, black shirts, white shirts. Yes, it's going to appear in the screen, not just like I'm here talking to myself in nothing. Yeah, you are going to learn how to draw shirts, so keep watching for more. Let's go! Here, first step first, do you know something called reference? I love reference, well, I just went into Google and found those two beautiful shirts and I want to show how to paint them, not only paint but also draw. I see people have trouble drawing shirts, so I want to show you how to do them. Let's do the basic formats before we start. Well, gigantic, gigantic, rectangle, go! I'm going to do the black one first and then the white one. Now we do both arms. Like a small C here. Small C. Get down open. So, right now we are going to add the body of the human being that is below this shirt. Yeah, let's do this. I'm doing the most regular shirt possible because this is a uh, solicitation. Solicita <laughs> it was requested from someone. The name is appearing right here in the screen. Okay, the name is appearing right here in the screen. The one who requested for me to do this tutorial. So now we're gonna start to make the curvatures, the bending points. And how are we gonna do that? That's a great question you're asking there. So well. There are points that the meat is touching the meat or there are points that, let's say, the cloth is touching the meat and there are places that the cloth is not touching the meat and interaction, it creates bending points and any kind of interaction like here, in the armpits, right here it's coming from this point right here armpits create points of bending, okay? the fabric is bending you can do like, he got a gigantic chest and it goes like, the shirt is even stretching here in the middle and it goes like, wow, such gigantic boom boom baba you can see here, it's just falling down we can do this too so do you see this point here that we did some bending? yeah, here would be following the body of the charter can you see here, the body, the body yeah, the body with that six pack, yeah, and, yeah, and rib cage and like a heart, and that heart is like happy. Yeah, that's right. That's what we are talking about because the shirt on this part's like, whoa, I'm free. It's going to create more bending points. Let's go. Woo. I'm going to create a new layer just to paint the base color that I'm using from this shirt that we can see here In this base color, I'm going to add a small gradient. This is going to do such magic. You guys are gonna love it, okay? I'm going to select the bright color here that I find in this shirt. Yes, it's you. Okay, I'm going just a little bit more bright. Great. I'm going to make a gradient. Just a gradient, okay? Nothing complex, just a gradient. What is a gradient? You may be asking me right now. Well, a gradient is when you have your brush with zero hardness, just like mine is right now and of course was already, of course. 
with a big brush and you go and paint softly. Now, let's pick a dark tone here, like this one. And let's apply on the opposite side, here, down. Down, down, down. And we go onto the middle, yeah? We are going to make some more shadows. I'm going to pick this darkest color that we did right here at the bottom. This is the color that we're going to use to do our shadows. Okay, right now I'm going to use my lasso tool. Lasso, 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 lasso tool. Press L. Here's our lasso tool. To select places with shadows. Yeah. We're going to select place by place by place. There's going to use shadows. Well, I made one selection. Now I just hold shift so I can just keep going and selecting and selecting and selecting our shadows. We can add like big shadows here in this format if you're going to do some guy that is like strong as freak. The abs gonna stand out. The abs and this one stand out the most because ribcage. Now I'm going to hide my selection just by pressing Ctrl 8. I mean, you know the letter A. a. Yeah, you, you know. Now, with the color of this dark shadow that I told you in the beginning, we're going to paint. And now we can make it even a more dark tone in the lower part. We can make a small gradient here. I'm just like the middle color and applying it into the shadows that we have. So it's going to be like a small gradient. Now I'm just going to expand the shadow in place that it should be hitting with the line art that we did, okay? Just expanding. Now, here goes the crazy step. Attention, again, attention. Bright tone right here. Small lines in the corners. Just pushing, pulling movement. Remember to have some highlights. Don't be afraid to do some highlights. Okay, champ? Guys, I'm going to apply right now a strong deep shadow in places that the light surely, for sure, just don't touch, like not even a reflection of the light. I'm going to create another layer of shadow in those bright places. Soft. L look at my face, I'm doing it soft, okay? Soft. Don't you dare make those lines of cloth bending strong. Do it soft, okay? So it's going to look natural, realistic, yaoi manga looking like, okay? Great.
I'm going to change here to color dodge mode bright tone yeah like you I like you let me pick warm tone and apply here up here yeah the same step that I did here in the gradient is the same brush thing that I'm doing here and down you can just go with blue or purple Well, we do the same rectangle as we did. We have like this format, you know, that thing, time glass, glass with time, time in the glass, glass in the time, you know, that goes like... Okay, we do the shoulders just like we did, letter C, and go down. You can do exactly the same, but you're going to draw on the shirt like falling like here, this normal because there are going to be two points here in the bobs. If the bob, if the baba is big, they're just going to fall down. Yeah, they're going to be points like this, you know. Let's pick a base color here. Yes, the shadow of the white shirt. The shadow. And of course, remember to take out the transfer of your brush, pressing F5 and here. Okay, again here, just like in the black shirt, we're going to do a gradient. Pick the white part that you find this shirt. Put it up. Oh my! Go back to transfer and go back to zero hardness. Now we're going to add the shadow, but in a different way. I want to show there is always a different way to do the things that you're doing. This time I'm just going with my brush, no selection at all. I'm going purely with the power of my brush strokes. So let me get back here and see if I can get any other color. Wow, I found a different color, brown. Let's use that brown.
and since you stayed until here why not just leave a like subscribe comment because this is going to help you and I have a big surprise for you a gift a gigantic gift yes it's for free it's a gift I'm, I'm, I'm talking serious to you right now you can check out my playlist in the comment section or in my youtube channel a free full playlist of tutorials all the tutorials that i can give you about shirts about animals about humans about muscles about everything everything that you are having trouble drawing yes you can find that in my youtube channel so subscribe to get even more high quality content oh you got questions leave the question right there i'm here to help you i hope you have a great use for that present and i'll be seeing you in the next video you're awesome champ bye bye